Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to Guild Wars 2 and our Warrior Leveling playthrough. Thank you all so much for joining me today, I really do appreciate you clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. Uh, we're going to grab this hero point first, and after that we're going to head down over to the southwest, uh, all the way back over here. Well, you know what? That's level 23. Maybe we ought to look for something a little more in our level range. Uh, either way, let's grab the hero point first. Alright. Uh, so, let's see, what else can we finish up here? Apparently we can get another hero point in here. Uh, let's head over that way and check that out. We are just wrapping up a few things here in Queensdale today, ho hoping to get level 20. And once we hit level 20, we will start on the next branch of our character story. Uh, where is this going to be exactly? More come, yes? Um, I don't know. So, probably not in there. Perhaps up top. Yeah, here we go. Oh, and below, the windmill king pursues. You have met your match, dragon. Well, he showed us. Okay, we, we can't get in there to interrupt him, apparently. So we did get a ring, we did hit level 20. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So that has some power on it. We will equip it. And I think now we can equip this axe. And maybe we could try that out. Let's equip it in place of our sword. There we go. Uh, we only have a few abilities with this. Chop, Cyclone Axe. I wonder why we have so few skills with it. Huh. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know why that would be. Oh, it's a one-handed axe. Okay, well that kind of makes sense. What if we do something like this? Then we get charge, grant swiftness to yourself and allies while removing movement impairing conditions. And Call of Valor removes conditions from all allies. So that's like a like a support item. Not really like something we want to have set up as a weapon. Hmm. So we don't really have a good offhand for dealing DPS, I guess. For now, we'll probably just be sticking to the mace then. Uh, okay, let's see. The other thing I want to do here before we do the main story stuff is I want to see if I can finish this objective down here. It's, it's the one of the... I think it's the only objective, yeah, that we have to do here. And I would very much like to see it done. So this one we're looking for portals and we're looking for demons. And uh, when I was here previously, the spawns or either are like really rare. It was it was troubling. I spent a lot of time just running around. Uh, that was part of the recording that got the audio got messed up, so I, I didn't end up putting that one up to YouTube, which is which is probably for the best because I did have a pretty frustrating time down here trying to find these portals.
Yeah, we'll see if maybe today we have better luck already just looking around. I can say this is seeming about the same. And that's all we can do. We can close portals, vanquish minions, and put spirits to rest. I don't know what the last part means. I haven't found an objective that has to do with spirits. So it's possible that I'm just completely missing something. Uh, yep, he just vanished. Okay, he's back. Okay, here is a tortured spirit. This is the first one that I've actually seen. So let's talk to him. Uh, he... Okay, did he spawn this? Seems like maybe talking to him spawned this guy. Okay, well maybe I need to keep my eyes open for some more spirits. That would be okay if we can do it that way. Ah, uh, there's one over here. Yeah, so far today, this has been much better. Uh, being able to see a couple of portals up at the same time was not happening before. This dude is level 16 and has a mount. I'm assuming I have to buy something to get a mount, right? They want me to, like, own one of the expansions, maybe? Which I should do, and will do, soon. I'm, I'm like 99% sold. A lot of you guys have voiced that the game changes drastically though after a certain expansion. I'm, I'm not sure which one it was. As far as like how the combat feels and how the difficulty feels. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm okay with challenging difficulty, but... I, I don't like when things kind of like flip a switch and all of a sudden it's hard and challenging whereas like the prior 80 levels of progress taught you nothing about how to play the game. That's not going to be cool if that's what happens. Uh, if all of a sudden it's like playing a different game that I've had no experience in, that's going to suck. Now if, if it's just a lot harder but we can take some of the stuff that we've already learned about the familiarity of our abilities and stuff like that, then that's fine. Uh, I'm, I've already got this hero point, yep. Okay, um, hmm, I don't see any portals. I'm looking for spirits, but not seeing any of those either. There's a portal way in the distance. Here is a spirit. This might, oh, we already, did we already get him, or? Oh, he doesn't give a crap about us. He doesn't want to talk to us or anything, so maybe we already got him. This would be the last portal we need if we can get to it in time. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Thanks to you, we've learned a great deal about the mysteries of the God's Lost Swamp. Your explorer spirit reminds me of myself. As fascinating as the swamp may be, there are untold numbers of secrets to discover. Okay, so, with that done, let's have a look here. We still have one hero point somewhere uh, that we have not... Oh, it's like actually showing me where it's at, isn't it? Let's go get that. Get over here and help me. Um, whoops. <laughs> Bandits, well then. 
I, uh, I guess we're fighting some bandits. Okay, we're gonna die here, because we're standing in fire, mainly. Uh, I don't know. Are you kidding me? Because I feel like we're having to take on like a few too many guys here. I think we've just wandered into a really awful area during a really crazy event, and uh, we literally have like twelve enemies on us right now. I don't, I don't really want that. So, just gonna try to run away. <laughs> See if that actually works in this case. Um, yeah. Oh, good. The bandits are gone. As I look at all the bandits. All right, yeah, let's head over here where the bandits are not. This We did not need to go near the bandits at all, so that was my fault. Get over here and Uh, excuse me, where did she go exactly? Oh, she just, like, now that has to be some kind of bug, right? She's bugging out right now. That's not, like, normal mob behavior. Yeah, for a level 10, this guy uh, was a little bit challenging, actually. Glad we kind of waited on that one. Uh, did we get this now? I think we did. Uh, yes, so there's one more. Right? It says there's one more. I, I don't see it anywhere on the map, so... Huh. Points of interest... We also are missing a few. I wonder if they're they're in the city. Okay, well either way, I think I want to go ahead and proceed uh, with the story quest here. You're just in time. Minister Codicus says there's a child missing. As part of my community outreach program, ministry officials treated a group of orphans to a day at the carnival. One of the boys wandered off, and now we can't find him. Poor little guy. I can help search for him, Minister. Good. I leave this in your hands, then. Since Captain Thackeray has such faith in you, so do I. I need to get back to the Ministry. We'll talk again soon. The boy's name is Garen. He's ten years old and wearing a red shirt. I've got Seraph out searching too. Never seen Codicus so worried. Must be concerned for his political career. I hope the boy's alright. I'll start by asking around at the carnival. Maybe someone saw him. The circus has a performance every afternoon. If you head down there and talk to the entertainers, you might find someone who can tell us more. All right, I feel like am I one of his lead investigators now? Am I am I a cop? Am I a cop? I feel like that's what I've become. Uh yeah, the po the political guy, I don't trust him at all. I don't know if it's just like the voice acting is not excellent and you know, maybe just the way he was saying the lines uh just made him sound kind of untrustworthy. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but I don't really trust him. Uh, elevators, okay, so one wants me to go up, one wants me to go down. Not really sure, we need to get over here. Uh, what would be the easiest way to do that? 
I don't really know. Maybe this one. Uh, could we come out here, yep, and then go down? Uh, there we go. Speak with our friends in the audience. Yes. Father's feeling much better today. I thought we'd come and see the show to raise his spirits. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm here on official business. Logan asked me to... Oh, look, it's starting. It's so exciting. I can hardly wait. I'm going to interrupt you in the middle of the sentence. I'm really rude. Uh, enjoy yourself. I'll catch up with you after the show. Watch the performances. Okay. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Carnival Gamba. I'm afraid our clown couldn't make it. He was feeling kind of funny. Oh, Instead, ha -ha. I have hand-selected three of our most impressive performers to entertain you. Stand back and prepare to be amazed. I am Boris, the beast, the strongest man in Tyria. I can break anything. Right, I need volunteer. Any of you sturdy looking men in audience care to come up here? Me, is, is that us? Me. Oh no, we don't get Watch to. Watch this, sweetie. That guy's a pushover compared to me. Uh, I doubt it. You there! Mister, I'm so humble. <laughs> Come up on this stage. This rock comes from a Deldremor quarry. Only the finest dwarven tools can even chip this hardy stone. Go ahead, sir. Take this hammer and give it a whack. Wow, that's the real thing, all right. Not even a mark. Better get some exercise, sonny boy. Now, witness an incomparable feat of strength. Now, we were supposed to be here looking for a lost boy, but at least we feel like we have the time to watch an entire show. Seems like we're kind of slacking off. Okay, this has to be us, right? We're gonna, we're gonna do something, aren't we? I sense someone with a gentle spirit, but a fierce temper. Oh, that's not us. Hey, that sounds like you, Petra. Me? Oh my goodness. Maybe she sees a handsome man in my future. Petra, is it? I foresee that you will inspire others through dark times. Good luck to you, my dear. My sixth sense grows weary, and I must rest. Thank you all. If you wish to know your fortune, come by my tent later and cross my palm with coin. Your distance, please. The pernicious viper is one of the deadliest species in Tyria. It's ten times more venomous than a cave spider. Twenty times more aggressive than... Hey, Wrigley, get back here! Hey, that's not supposed to happen! Wrigley's gone rogue! Help! Someone help! Uh, Tell us all. Did, did something happen? He went rogue? Defeat the tiny little pit viper. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, uh, 
all part of the act. Oh yeah, totally. Just one of Madame Gilda's illusions. Yes. Hey, at least we got to press a button. I mean, I'm happy we got to do something. Poor Wrigley. Poor little guy. Yep. Poor us. I keep waiting for something to happen. Uh, I'm not convinced it's going to, but That's maybe. All, oh, good. Thank you for visiting the nothing, Gumbar. nothing pertinent happened. Be sure to purchase our newest souvenir, mm -hmm. the floating Griswold, a toy to amaze your friends and baffle your enemies. Can I just purchase the uh, the objective week, completion? Can I just pay some and coin and have this tick off, please? Thank you. Check in with your friends again. Okay, as we were saying, there's a lost child that seems really important to get on this right away. Hello. Uh, what was that snake? If I hadn't been protecting my father, I'd have grabbed the board and jumped in there with you. Oh yes, the board. Glad you're both alright. I'm looking for a little boy named Garand. He's gone missing. Have you seen anything odd? Missing? That's bad. I haven't seen anything. Maybe one of the circus people saw him. Okay, circus people. Um... She's just gonna, gonna want to tell her fortune, right? God's blessings. Your aura reveals much about you. Tell Madame Gilda what it is you are seeking. I'm looking for a lost boy who may have come this way. He's about ten, wearing a red shirt. Have you seen any unattended children? I have not. But boys love snakes and snails and scaly drake tails. I'd talk to the snake charmer if I were you. Thank you. That's a I'll good idea. Hmm, I see it. I see that you will find the child. You will, however, also uncover startling secrets. Hmm. Beware the Griswold! Oh. I don't know what that is, but okay. Pardon me. I'm looking for a boy in a red shirt. He strayed from his group and hasn't returned. I'm hoping he came this way. I saw a boy. He asked if I'd ever met a snake I couldn't tame. I told him that snakes just need love, like everybody else. I don't think that's accurate, Interesting. kids. But did you see where the kid went? Yeah. He called me a weirdo and went to gawk at Boris the Strongman. <laughs> I think he had probably had the right idea. Hey, skinny, come test your strength against Boris. Boris is daring you. <laughs> no time for that. I'm looking for a boy in a red shirt. I'm told he came this way. Have you seen him? Yes, Boris has seen boy. He asked how to build bigger muscles. Boris told him he must work hard. He said he'd rather have a Griswold and went to the stables. <laughs> Griswold. That's the second time I've heard that word. What is it? Boris does not know. Boris suspects, but Boris does not speak until he is certain. Okay. Go to the stables. You will see for yourself. Lovely. A Griswold. I thought it was like some nonsense carnival talk. But apparently it's a thing. Go to the stables. A door we can open. Nice. Love it. Uh, are you a Griswold? Ordinary looking bumper car. <laughs> I'm glad, glad we have bumper cars. Oh, that's, this is not ordinary, okay. I, I am, I don't even know what to say. They were worried about a little snake getting away, but they have giant spiders living in their bumper cars, so. Priorities, guys. Okay, so, let's check the crates over here. Card is filled with spare tents and canopies and rigging. You find some muddy carnival workers' uniforms, but nothing helpful. Okay, uh, what are we missing here? Uh, 
Is there a setting to like continuously highlight everything that's clickable? Hmm. There probably is. I'm probably just not seeing it. I, yeah, I don't see anything else in here that I could possibly click on. It's three bumper cars, the chest. The door. Oh, here we go. The crate contains several strange toys, like the one the ringmaster was holding. These must be Grizzwirls. Okay. What's going on here? Grizzworld. Oh no. Grizzworld. It's bad. Grizzworld. Oh Jesus. Excuse me. I'm looking for a lost child. A little boy around 10 years old. Grizzworld? His name's Garand. No entry. Oh, I thought he would just Employees keep only. saying the same word over and over again. Authorized access. Kill the intruder. Uh, of course, obviously. What? Looks like, Joe, I don't want any trouble. You stay away from me. Kill the intruder. Hey, Rube. Hey, Rube. All right. Uh, we got a nice stun there to start things off. And he interrupted us, so the abilities are not going off. That's unusual. There we go. Okay, so some mind-controlled carnies are abducting kids. Um, with toys that mind-control you? I, am I getting this? I don't know that I'm grasping anything that's going on, but... I'm glad it's progressing into something that involves us uh, hitting our buttons. Okay, so we're going back to report to Logan. something rotten at that carnival. Couldn't find the boy, but I believe the workers know something. I was ambushed by a pack of glassy-eyed carnies. Hmm. Carnies don't trust outsiders. Maybe you should go undercover. There's a carnival training camp near Beetleton. If you can get hired, they'll be more likely to talk freely to you. Join the carnival. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to hear that. I'm in. I'll be just outside the carny camp with a squad of Seraph. So we we are definitely we are definitely an undercover cop. Whether we realize this or not, whether we signed up for it or not, I don't really know. I feel like at this point they should just swear us in, right? I mean, can we get some cool armor, maybe? Uh, eight slot leather bag. What do we need to pick here? Toughness, vitality, power. Uh, I don't know, vitality. Uh, I'm more interested in the bag. Uh, let's put it over our small one. There we go. That's a little bit more space. All right. We do what we must. When did you do the first time in Divinity? Uh, wait, where are we going exactly? Can you tell? Oh, we're going all the way over here. Oh, is this where our last hero point is, also? Oh no, we already, we already got this one.
better be careful around here, stranger. Lots of ways for a snooper to get hurt. Oh, okay. Accidentally, I mean. What do you want? I want to join the carnival. Can you give me my big break? I just need the opportunity to show off my talents. <laughs> what have we here? Ladies and gentlemen, it's audition time. Winners get applause, losers get rotten Well, that's convenient that we showed up right at audition watching. time. How fun. This darling optimist is being granted a grand solipsism. Let's see those exhibition skills. Wait, the mime talks? Of course. He's a mime, not a mute. Fair. Step right up. All you have to do is pass the magic trine. Three circus challenges. The mime, the clown, and I will test your talent. Once we see what you can do, we'll know what to do with you. Let the show begin! The clown has two key functions to make people laugh and a star in their nightmares. We'll start with the laughs. Prove what you've got, you've got what it takes. Tell me your best joke. A Norn, a Char, and a Sura walk into a tavern. Uh, let's see. And the Asura says to the innkeeper. Excuse our rough humor. My companions and I are a little crude. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a groaner. <laughs> okay. Good one. There's funny and there's clown funny. You qualify. Fair. If you want to join the carnival, you'll need to defeat me in the age-old tradition of mime battle. A mime battle? I perform certain actions, you mimic them exactly, but know this. My silent portrayals of life's subtle intricacies are unparalleled. I can make you laugh or move you to tears without saying a word. You talk a lot for a mime. Many only get to see me in silence, never knowing, always wondering, what must his voice be like? What would he say? Conversing with me is a rare privilege. Please show a little rever reverence. Uh, okay, let's, let's mime. Uh, do we have to wave? Oh, whoops. Okay, is this what we're doing? I can't tell. Wait, what did he do? Oh no. I don't have like my- is it because I don't have my log? Would I- would I be seeing this? If I had my log up. <laughs> oh, mime. I don't know what he's doing. At what point do I fail it and we uh, we try again? Huh. Yeah, it's gotta be because I, I have a tab with nothing showing. Maybe we do like NPCs. Yeah, that doesn't show anything though. Very, very weird. Okay. Let's let's go talk to her. Okay, we're we're fighting. Fighting is good. I like when we fight stuff. Yeah, I like when we fight stuff. At least it's straightforward. Uh okay, cool. Okay, maybe this will reset the mime. Oh, the mime is still totally bugged out. That is really unfortunate. How are we going to get this to reset? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Robert, you're not paying attention. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, sometimes I am literally that oblivious to what's going on. Just didn't notice the entirely new action bar. It all makes sense now. Uh, which one is that? Three? Uh, 
again, three. Uh, is that... Is that this one? Okay. Your body ripples like a river over solid rock. Your wits can upstage a mesmer. Thank you, I appreciate that. And are you coming on to us? I mean, it's fine if you are, but... of stardom. Your talent will astound audiences. Millions will lavish you with adulation. Oh, we got quests to do. He speaks true. We don't have time for all that. You passed all three tests with flying colors. You'll be amazing. And you even look great in tight pants. Now that part is true. Just wait until the ringmaster yep. gets a load of you. He's always looking for fresh talent. The ringmaster? Is he the boss? That's when what ringmaster means, yep. Patience, earnest neophyte. The ringmaster returns this evening with toys from Uzalon's workshop, including a fresh batch of Griswolds. Uh-oh. Relax. You're one of us now, so you have free run of the place. Just stay out of the warehouse. The ringmaster doesn't like anyone going. Oh yeah, of course. We'll steer real clear. Okay, where's the warehouse? Investigate the warehouse. Yeah, right. Exactly. This looks great. Hi hypnotized children. You don't scare me. Oh shoot. Yep, they are not happy that we're in here. They have a lot of interrupts. Maybe I could be dodging these interrupts. Maybe that would be smart. Oh, I don't know. There's a Grizzworls. Oh no, not more. Man, those stuns though. Follow the children outside. Talk to Logan. Let's play a game. Logan, I found the boy. He's fine physically, but something has affected his mind. It has something to do with a weird toy. Carney's no more than they're letting on. Hand it over, Garen. As for you, Carney. Tell me what's going on here, or you'll spend the rest of your life in a cell for kidnapping this boy. Let me put it like that. We needed kids to test Uzalon's Grizzworlds. And uh, if you want to find the Ringmaster, there's a meeting tonight for new recruits. That's all I know. It's a start. Stick around, you clown. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Just stick to the cop stuff, man. Don't, don't try humor, okay? Do you want to go to Uzalon's workshop, or do you want to infiltrate the Ringmaster's meeting? We don't have time to do both. Uh, Uzalon's workshop. I want to know what the deal is with these toys, and maybe we go to the source. Uh, let's see here. Avengers Hammer sounds good. Avengers Long Sword. Avengers Long Bow. I really want the bow to have kind of a ranged weapon, but... This is a two-handed. Let's go with the hammer upgrade, since we've been using the hammer a lot. Hello. There we go. Okay, um... Oh, something is happening right here. I don't really know what. Okay, cool. Next, we are headed all the way down here to uh, oh, Ozalon's hideout. Yes. This is probably the closest waypoint that we have. Hey, hey. 
Oh, I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> oh, Robert. Doesn't work that way, buddy. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. It's Let's be honest. Instead of doing that, I'll take the long way and I'll drink some more coffee. Okay, well, Logan beat us here. Workshop. From here on in, things are likely to get weird. That's good. Weird is good. Let's go back into immersion mode there. Invulnerable. Okay. Fair. And then you get the first hit and it's a stun. Yeah. I see how it is. I see how it's gonna be. Who's talking to this statue for some reason? We should take a closer look. Who's there? Not another one of those clowns, I hope. Have you come to rescue Uzalon the toy maker, or are you just looking for an autograph? We've come to talk. Rescuing you is the first step. You are Uzalon, right? No, you don't. I'm a perfect mechanical copy. Of course I'm Uzalon. I am speaking to you through my fantabulous Uzicom 2000. These clowns have trapped me inside my workshop. To be succinct, help. Uh, we're here to find out more about your inventions, the Grizzwirls. What can you tell us? Nothing. At least, not while I'm trapped in my workshop. I'll be happy to tell you all about the floating Grizzwirl as soon as you get rid of all these clowns that are trying to kill me. Settle down. We'll solve the clown problem for you and then we'll talk. I'm starting to see why some people hate clowns. These are not all clowns, okay? <laughs> these are some of these are just carnival performers, uh, which are not all clowns. I also like what I like a lot. It might sound stupid. I like that we're not killing them. I like that it's very clearly portrayed that we're not killing these people. Yes, I like that a lot. It makes me not hate my character's guts. Not feeling like my character is an evil murderer out to get experience and gold is uh, is important to immersion. For me, at least. I guess if you like your character being an evil murderer, then your immersion's a little bit different than mine. Was someone just hitting me? Was someone just hitting you? Yeah, with a giant hammer. Ooh, what, well, this is a little different looking, isn't it? That's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, we're just clearing all these guys, right? Let me guess, wait, was was it a problem with your head? Was that what it was? Uh, nope, can't interact with that. Alright, Mr. High and Mighty Inventor. I'm going to prove that your brains are no match for my bombs. Hm. What? With that tiny little firecracker? Oh, don't go him. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> tiny? This is my biggest cannonball. It even explodes on command. All I have to say is, bomb, go boom. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I saw that coming. That's why we did. I like how Logan moved away too. <laughs> All right, it's fine. He blew himself up. And that was Big Top Bruno, the human cannonball, almost as intelligent as his namesake. Some rescue. The only thing saving my neck from those madmen is this force field that I built to protect my blueprints from thieves. A force field which has been my prison for hours now. 
Considering the drivel that they kept shouting, I imagine they wanted the schematics to one of my astonishing inventions. I'm famous, you know. Uzalan the Inventor. Uh, we're here about the floating Grizz worlds. The carnival is using them as mind control devices. I'll help you once I'm free. The turbo buzzers around the room should overload the force field if you destroy them, but be warned, I've installed electrifying countermeasures for would-be vandals. Okay, cool. So, destroy the automated defenses. So the toy golems are the, are the countermeasures, right? The toy golems that are dealing more damage to us than anything else has so far. Oh, great! <laughs> Ouch. freed you. Now tell us about the Grizzworlds. Hmm. The Grizzworlds temporarily render the weak-willed susceptible to suggestion. They make any party 33% more fun. The Ringmaster loved it. He was very complimentary at first. We think the Ringmaster is planning something big. I'm not surprised. He asked many questions about increasing the Grizzworlds' power and range. He wanted the schematics, but... I refused on principle. Could he modify the Grizz worlds you made? Maybe use a super-powered version to affect a large group of people? Yes, he's clever enough to pull that off. And if that's his plan, he'll probably do it at the circus's next big show, when his audience will be as fast as possible. In a career, he could incite a full-scale riot. The Seraph would have to respond with force. It'd be a bloodbath. We've got to stop him. Uh, let's see here. We'll take the power. At some point, I probably should spend some of these hero points, but uh, we just get these bonus abilities that are just kind of buffs and stuff that I'm not really too reliant on right now. And since I don't know much about what our overall build will be, I'm just kind of holding off on spending them. It doesn't seem to be very impactful while leveling. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Uh, okay, we're going all the way back into the city, so we can just probably come over here.
Talk to your friend in the crowd. Okay, yep. There you are. What took you so long? I've been waiting for you ever since I got your letter. My letter? I didn't send you a letter. Petro, you're in great danger. But I got a letter from you saying to meet me here to watch a, a special circus performance. If you didn't send it, who did? I can guess. The ringmaster is evil. He's planning to hypnotize this crowd and make them do his bidding. That's horrible. I can't leave you here alone. If the ringmaster thinks he can fool us, he's going to find himself taking a bottle to the face. Oh, she's always so graphic. I like it. Thanks, Petra. Stay close and don't look at the Griswold. Captain Thackeray will be here soon. Are you ready to be amazed? We're going to turn our back on this just in case. Oh, look at that. Watch carefully, ladies and gentlemen. Get in there, guys. And now, ladies and gents, the highlight of our show, the big finale. Please turn your attention to the floating Griswold at center stage. Watch it go round and round. That which goes up must eventually come down. Queen Jenna's Kryta has had it all. Now it and she must tumble and fall. Ringmaster, by my authority, I order you to desist. You're under arrest for treason. How dare you threaten the Queen? Oh, look, it's Captain Thackeray. Don't you like my fascinating Griswell? Take a closer look. Avert your eyes, everyone. Don't look at the Griswell. He's trying to hypnotize you. Look away. Spoil sports. I'd have let you choke the life out of Queen Jenna Logan. Damn. Just like she's suffocating Kryta. Think of it, Captain. Your hands crushing her throat. Logan, don't let him get to you. He's trying to control your mind. Keep it together and we can stop him. Rise up, my puppets. Before we can cleanse the city of its monstrous queen, we must first crush the monsters in our midst. Get them! Well, that didn't work quite as planned, did it? I guess it's really hard to look away from a giant swirling griswold. Uh, who are we gonna have to fight here? <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, dear. Yeah, we're gonna run out of health here pretty quickly. Not really sure what we could have done differently, though. Oh yeah, this is not gonna happen. So, what am I supposed to do differently here? I don't know, we could gain a couple levels, I guess. That's the, usually the easiest thing to do. Uh, yeah, retry from a checkpoint, I guess. I, I don't really know. Maybe we just keep going from here. Yeah, that's the only way we're going to get it done. Is if we can make, like, continual progress against the quest yeah, without everybody resetting. I feel like this is like just too many people for us to be fighting by ourselves. Maybe only he matters. Yeah, there we go. Maybe I should have just been focusing him from the very beginning and that would have uh, saved us. The ringmaster nearly succeeded in spreading chaos throughout the city. Despicable traitor. I'm glad he's dead. The queen is safe for now. I find it hard to believe this was one man's political statement though. 
Who would have benefited most if he'd succeeded? Queen Jenna has no heirs. If the Ringmaster's mob had killed her, the Ministry would have taken rulership of Kryta. With all we've seen lately, I'm convinced that... It's a member of the Ministry. I came to the same conclusion. And the next time he makes a mistake, we'll be ready. Well said. It's the bald guy with the pointy beard, right? I'll let you know. Until then, may Dwayna guide your path. Yeah, it's gotta be the bald guy. Alright, what do we get? Let's take the chess piece. Oh, maybe we're getting all of it. You have earned your first mastery point. Masteries are abilities that can be trained by level 80 characters. Yeah, that's not gonna help us right now, but thanks. Uh, okay, let's see here. We did get the chess piece. Let's equip that. Yeah, we're looking good. We're starting to look like we're wearing heavier and heavier armor. I like it. It looks cool. Okay, what else? Uh, these are an upgrade. Cool. Okay, what about what's in here? A chest within a chest. Touche. Worth it. Okay, we're looking good. I think that's it. Okay, and yeah, that's our story quest for the time being. I guess we can run around here. At some point, I'm going to have to run around off recording and just pick up all of the teleport points, all the points of interest, and just get all the experience from this place. It would be a really good idea for me to do that uh, pretty soon. But yeah, interesting. It was a it was a slow start. I have to admit, having to go. Uh, ooh, who are you? Having to go watch the circus at first. That took a little bit of time. I would have wished for that to be either a little bit more interactive or just a little bit quicker. Maybe even just an option to skip that part entirely. Uh, by the time we were doing stuff, it was pretty interesting. I like how they're doing this slow build over time. I'm really curious though where they're going to take it when we're only doing story content every ten levels. So I'm interested to see where it goes. No spoilers, uh, don't tell me anything. When I ask questions about the story, I'm kind of just talking to myself, not really asking for direct answers about the story. But yeah, thank you guys for being here and for all the continued support on the series. I'm having a lot of fun, so you guys having fun too it really does mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again really soon. Bye now.